staying safe. We hope this all ends soon and you can come in and actually drink one of these with us. Today we're doing the Koltsko cocktail based on a very popular Danish dessert, the Koltsko. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so for this one, you're gonna need vanilla vodka. You can use any standard vodka if you like. Uh, if you've got any vanilla flavoring at home, that's perfect, but this is really nice smooth vanilla vodka. A little bit of elderflower liqueur. Um, you can use elderflower cordial if you don't want to make this so alcoholic. And simple syrup. We've got an egg, a couple of lemons, and some shortbread biscuits. If you've got, and I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, but kemiyonga, something similar to that at home, some shortbread Danish biscuits, perfect. We're going to start by cracking the egg white into the cocktail glass. Get rid of that yolk. What we're going to do is end up with a little bit of a meringue finish on this. So you want to get rid of all that yolk. Give my hands a quick wash. And then we're going to do two shots. So that's two times 30 mils of the vanilla vodka. This is a particularly good brand. You can get cheaper vanilla vodka out there. You will notice a difference. We're going to do 30 mils of simple syrup. You would normally only use 15 mils of sugar syrup in a cocktail, but this is based on a dessert. We want this to be nice and sweet and creamy. And we're gonna do half a shot of elderflower liqueur. You can add more if you like. Give this a little bit of lemon flavor. We're gonna add 30 mils of freshly squeezed lemon. The trick to this, this is based off a sour cocktail. So the trick to this is getting that balance between your sugar, your alcohol, and your citrus. That's ready to roll. I fill my Boston sugar in the ice. Some cocktail makers will shake this without ice first to really sort of render that egg and get that egg nice and whipped up. I go straight into the ice. The trick is with this, you want to shake it really hard, probably twice as long as you would a normal cocktail. Cut it short, it should be good enough. And we're going to double strain this with a Hawthorne strainer. And we'll see what I mean about that egg. So you've almost got a meringue on sitting on top of that. The traditional cold spell dessert is based with buttermilk. It's a nice and thick and creamy. So that egg white is sort of acting as your buttermilk. And if you've done this correctly, and I hope I have, when you put your biscuit crumb on the top, it should just sit nicely on top of that foam. Guys, there's the Pulse Cup. Check out the comments below for the recipe.